Good afternoon, professors and viewers. My name is Zi Hao, and today I'm here to present to you my final year project on building Sentinet-7. So for my project, Sentinet is found by Dr. Eric, which is my FYP professor. It has the aim to make natural language more easily accessible and interpretable to the machines through understanding concepts, interpreting emotions through the polarity scores, as well as common sense knowledge and reasoning. So the objective of my project is to enhance the Sentinet knowledge base by improving and expanding the knowledge base. The implementation consists of two parts. First, the proposed error checking program, and second, a semi-automated tools for synonyms and antonyms. For the error checking program, the proposed framework will be as follows. We will first use the keyword extractors and online reviews as inputs to extract the potential concepts to be checked. Then, the information will be then passed into the sentiment analysis to get the polarity scores and will be classified into emotions labels of the hourglass. And lastly, with all this information, it will be checked against the existing knowledge base. There will be three possible outcomes from this check. First, a new concept is found. This means that it doesn't exist in the knowledge base and we can structure it then add them into the new knowledge base. Second, an existing concept is found with the same polarity. So this means that the concepts we have found from the results and the existing knowledge base matches, which means it's correct and we can don't do anything here or we can just update to what we have found out in the results. In the last case, is that an existing concept is found with a different polarity. So in this case, the concept will be flagged and we will do further checking to determine whether is there a need to update in the existing knowledge base. As mentioned earlier, the concept is being passed into the sentiment analysis to get the polarity scores. And in this project, we have tested three different types of sentiment analysis. They are the text block, VADA, and the deep learning approach, which is LSTM, which is long short-term memory. The following is the results of 1,000 positive and 1,000 negative reviews. As you can see from this table, it is observed that text block and VADA, which is using the lexicon based or rule based approach, seems to be predicting towards more positive, and the accuracy rate is around 67 to 68%. While in the deep learning approach, the prediction is more balanced between the positive and negative, and it also has a higher accuracy rate of 87.8%. Hence, we have decided to use the deep learning approach as our sentiment analysis. So here is an example of the output generated from the error checking program. So in the case where an existing concept is found but with a different polarity, this is something that we want to check. Example here we have is the concept battle. It was tagged under joy with joyful, happy, smile as the semantic values which is more towards positive in the existing knowledge base. But from the results we have, battle should be tagged more negative with the emotion label of like dislike and then the semantics are like conflicts fight, combat, and etc. Another example we have is promise. It was tagged under emotion label of anger, which is more towards negative, with slowness, backwardness, and etc. as the semantics. Then, from the results we have, it was suggested that it should be tagged more positive, like in the emotion label of acceptance, and with the semantics of like hope, assure, and guarantee. And in the case where it's a new concept being found, we would like to add them into the knowledge base. For example, the concept pay and clear it wasn't found in the existing knowledge base. So we we'll use the information from the emotion categorizations as well as the semi-automated tools to get the semantics values. Then we'll form out this structure and add them into the knowledge base. Another part of the implementation is the semi-automated tools for synonyms and antonyms. The flow of the program is as follows. First, we will use a list of verbs from VerbNet. This verb is then passed into the generator from WordNet to generate the list of synonyms and antonyms. And to ensure that the verb and its synonyms are semantic as well as effective similarity, we will use the sentiment analysis to get the polarity score. The results of this is then passed into the word converter to convert them into US English. This to ensure that there is no duplications of UK or US English. Then, before we generate the output file, we will go through the spelling checker which acts as a recommendation to see whether is there a need to update the spelling. The output of these semi-automated tools is split into synonyms and antonyms respectively. So here an example generated from the semi-automated tools which is the verb increase. The list of synonyms are those verbs which has similar meanings as well as the same polarity as the word increase. And then for the antonyms are those verbs which has the opposite meaning and opposite polarity as the word increase. So for example, like decrease and weaken. 
In conclusion, with the proposed error checking program, we have implemented error checking for existing knowledge base with the aim of improving the accuracy as well as, at the same time, to expand the knowledge base with the new concepts and also the semi-automated tools. Thank you.